Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're here. So today we're here at Universal Studios for another Halloween Horror Nights update video. And this is probably gonna be my last update video for Halloween Horror Nights because we are one week out. That is right, one week out. It's be so exciting to do Halloween Horror Nights again and be in the fog and this experience as a whole. I'm super excited, but today's gonna be the last update video and we'll probably do another Horror Nights video, but something a little different than an update video. But uh, let's go inside the park and see what is new. So come along with me. So as we first come into the park, well, not into the park just yet, but we have a brand new truss out here with some speakers up here. So I don't know if this is going to show it or one back there is going to show it, but it's going to say Halloween Horror Nights. So we will definitely see next week when it comes. It's super exciting. Okay, so we're now inside the park and look at this um, entrance way for Dr. Otto Scare Zone. That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. Obviously, we have some stairs right here. People are going to walk up, walk back and forth up here, probably like, I don't know, intimidate people. I'm not sure what's going to go on, but there's some like lights in there. We have some speakers. It's going to be super cool. So now over here in the odd fellow section, some brand new props have actually came out here. Some like case and stuff, because you know, it's kind of like a traveling carnival kind of deal. Pretty cool. They actually have some like suitcases actually covering up the little pedals where he's actually be stepping on some stuff, making some sounds. And right over here, we saw the symbols already. It almost looks like a coffin. I don't know. Kind of weird. it has all that symbols stuff in it as well as looking around here we have some cases of some sort like actually probably going to open up here's the uh Othello's zodiac symbols it's really cool as well and also it's like scratch marks of some kind like on the cases it's really cool i'm not gonna be like nosy and trying to look inside i mean i can't see some stuff in there but it's kind of hard to see but it's gonna be really awesome they have this one and they also have one more right there as well so it's gonna be kind of cool and here is the other one. Now these might or might not be scratch marks. I don't know because it's be like a like worn design on the cases or whatever, but it is pretty cool. Alright, so next up we're actually gonna go to the dark zodiac. We're gonna see what's new inside here. Usually I do this scare zone last because there's not really much happening, but maybe since we're like a week out, maybe we'll have some more stuff out here. Okay, so now our next uh prop over here. This is actually kind of cool, a little more stuff been added to it has like some like pulley system so maybe just go down and like this is going to bring something up maybe a body of some sorts so we'll definitely see it also has like these poles up here like one's going like that and one's going like that and i don't know really what's going to happen up there like what's going to shoot has like a little pole going maybe like it'll shoot some fire or something huh. we'll see now this isn't nothing really special but we have some barrels out here kind of cool we also have some more barrels right over there and with this other barrel, just to mention, the Jurassic Park Tribute Store is still open. I've heard rumors it might go to like maybe beginning of uh, October maybe, but we'll definitely see. Also, it's like looking over this and like really thinking about it. There's probably a body under this tarp and like maybe this like Zodiac symbol thing is like drain the blood because it's actually a pipe going to this thing. So maybe there's gonna be like blood like coming out of there or something like that. It's gonna be very interesting. So that's gonna do it from Dark Zodiac. We're actually gonna check out what's else to happen here in the park. Um, we'll actually go to the Jungle of Doom next. It's actually been a while since I've been in here. And last time I was actually here, they've added a lot more stuff to it. So I'm actually really excited to see what's in it. So we're now back here in the Jungle of Doom and check this out, we actually have some updates. It has some like net in it back here. So, so probably, oh yeah, look at that. There's a little pedal back here. So we'll probably have a scare actor scanned right here or maybe he's gonna stand inside and I just press that pedal and spook you out. It'd be really cool. And right over here, it's about the same as last time. We have a parachute up in the trees, a whole bunch of foliage on this airplane that's been crashed. It's pretty awesome. And also right here, it looks like you have a hat and it's probably a guy that probably died and it's probably right into a tree. Cool. And as we walk through the scare zone, actually check out this big line to see Shrek and Fiona. It's actually a pretty decent line. And now come over here has a little campfire. They've actually covered it up. They actually have rats inside this bag. Before when the last update video, they actually had some rats that's like hanging up here. So it looks like it's all covered up now for daytime guests. So that's really good news for the jungle of doom. And also for this little teepee hut over here, we'll have a monster to scare you or a creature, whatever it's gonna be. And I just saw it inside of here. Let's see if we can see it from the other side. Oh, I also have some nets over here too. But we have a switch or a little pedal switch and probably this character is going to step on it and make some kind of sound and scare you. 
All right, so that's actually gonna do it from the jungle of doom. Coming over here, we actually have our first portal. Check this out. That's really awesome. Now, I don't know what's gonna be on this. I would think it had like more of a directional sign. It'll say like Last of Us or whatever, this way. It's gonna be really awesome. So we'll keep going, going down this way and see what's over here. Okay, so this is actually brand new. Coming over towards Springfield, this is like we had last year with these little symbols, if you remember this, from um, Lombards. Check that out. It's really awesome. And these things actually light up at night on these symbols. It's really awesome. So I wonder if either somewhere over here, back there maybe, we have like a little bar. Maybe it's just be out here, but it's really awesome. And also as we enter Springfield, we have a brand new food truck out here, a little catering car. And here's like the better booths for you to check out. It's pretty cool. I wonder what they're gonna have. Okay, so now as we enter Springfield, we're gonna talk about a rumor that is probably left for Horror Nights, and that is the Megan Horde. So basically, we'll have a whole bunch of like Megans running around chasing you, but it has not been confirmed yet. That's just what's been speculated. But what has been confirmed just a couple days ago is the Death Eaters will be here for the first time in Diagon Alley. But we'll check that out as we venture on around the park. All right, guys, so I got my cup of water. It is super cold and delicious, but a brand new update over here. Check this out. We have a portal for a house and also a screen. Oh, this is super awesome. I don't know what's gonna be over here. This is super awesome. Maybe it's me, the last of us, but man, that is super awesome to see. And now other than this TV to actually put some else right on it right now, which is actually really cool in front of my eyes over here, it's still blank. So I'm not sure what this is gonna be. It says close to pedestrian traffic. So who knows? And also I can see some of the house tents back there in white. It's really awesome. But I'm super excited to see what this is gonna be about. All right, so moving on down, check this out. We have a brand new update over here for Men in Black. This is the entrance sign right outside. And it looks like they're painting the white around it, which is awesome. It's good to see that they actually keep an update with the park as well, other than like Horror Night stuff. It's awesome. All right, so while we're over here by Men in Black, we have another update between Men in Black and Nightmare Fuel. Check this out. Another portal entrance for our house. It's super awesome. It has a screen as well. This is rumored to be for Dr. Oddbell's Twisted Origins. Uh, this would be so exciting. So, so far today, we saw two portals and also two portals with TVs. I can't wait to see if there's any more around the park. And also on the next update, moving down along, we have a sign for Nightmare Fuel, Revenge Dream. This is actually the first time I'm showing this. Now I know it's been around social media, but this is me, my first time actually seeing it and showing y'all in person, which is actually very awesome. I really like it. And I'm really excited to see the show. I mean, even though it is like the third time we're having Nightmare Fuel, I'm actually really excited to see it. And as well, right behind that, we have a brand new food booth. Check this out, Never Go Alone. And also has this little like Odd Fellows Zodiac kind of symbol right here. It's really cool. And all they're gonna serve is to basically freestyle cups and maybe they'll have some snacks maybe, but we'll see. All right, so now we actually come over here near the bridge and check this out. We have another new food booth. Now again, a lot of these have already been out. Some people have already been showing it, but this is actually my first time actually taking a look at it. It's actually really cool. It has that like gothic kind of church style, like cathedral kind of building. It's really awesome. It has some like fake windows on there. It's really awesome. Let's check around the building. Oh well, messy entrance. <laughs> but it's actually really cool. Has a little skull with a bat on it. It's really awesome. And let's look around here. This is where the uh, register booth is. That's pretty awesome. And we're now arrived in Diagon Alley. We're actually going to look at the stuff for the Death Theaters. It has now been officialized that they will be coming here in Diagon Alley. This is going to be super awesome. We have like some green fog and stuff over here. This is going to be really awesome. I'm super excited for it. And also, we have a big group of people over here ready to see the dragon roar. Let's see if we can catch it. It might be any second now. We'll see. Oh, that's actually a lot of people. There. All right, so we actually just got out of Diagon Alley. Honestly, it was actually a lot of people inside of there. And like, it was actually pretty busy. And for some reason, like, the dragon was being delayed with the fire and everything so they didn't want to stand around and if it was more reasonable like if it was going off more than like 10 minutes which it should have been but for some reason it wasn't i would stay longer but uh, we're gonna check out more cool stuff here in the area is next up over in lombards as you can see from behind me we'll look at it this is for the new nbc peacock um bar it looks really cool 
All right, so lots of tax being added since the last time we're here in this area. So now it's called the NBC Peacock Bar, and we have that meet and greet with, uh, I think it's David S. Pumpkins. It's really cool. We have this little structure right here. Maybe this might be for the actual meet and greet himself, maybe have like a line for him or whatever. But we'll definitely see what this is going to be about. So it looks really cool. So let's actually walk inside and see what's going on in here. Really awesome. All these uh, trusses are now put together. And let's walk back here and see what's up. And coming down through has a little truss with some lights. It's actually really cool. Another one over here. And this may be blocked off for us down here. But this might be for meet and greet. But I'm not sure how they're going to do it. But definitely we're going to see what it's all about during Horror Nights. And it's going to be really fun. Maybe we can walk back here. Maybe, maybe not. We do have some like chairs and like lounge area set up. So it's be really cool. So maybe this can be like a very chill spot during Horror Nights. If you want to relax, get some drinks, maybe some food, bring out here. Might be pretty awesome. All right, next up, let's actually head to Shipyard 32. See what's going on inside of here. I already know we have some new stuff looking off the bat. So a quick mention before we actually get into the scare zone, we actually have the new, brand new San Francisco food booth. It's now open, check that out. It's like some tasty treats inside of there. So we have some vegetable egg rolls, a Cantoni's cinnamon sugar stick, uh, Asian chopped salad, we got some beer, and also have some boba drinks here. Check that out, Golden Gate Sunset, you know, obviously Golden Gate Bridge, cable car coffee, huh, interesting. But that boba drink sounds pretty refreshing. Passion fruit with strawberry, pop and pearls. And here are the big cinnamon sticks, basically. It looks really good. Got some egg rolls, and there's the salad as well. Looks pretty good. So looking over here, we got some brand new stuff. Probably the most brand new things we see here right here is the All Fellows Trade and Imports. Check that out. We got the symbol and everything on there. That looks really cool. So I'm really excited to see the story about this actual scare zone. Um, I mean, of course you can read about it, but like actually being inside of it. And I don't know if we can actually see something inside that crate. We have some like speakers that actually go into it. So, and also we have a, a little pedal down here. So we'll probably have a scare actor out here pressing something. I don't know, this would be really neat. So I'm guessing whatever this crane had originally, this like bus that you see, that whole, the whole crate just like dropped on the floor. Had, everything in it and something got out that's what i'm thinking also we had the auto somewhere right here and also up here i think this is brand new around the crane as well this is super awesome so actually before we actually leave shipyard 32 we had this crate or something right here usually when universal covers something up usually it's like something gory or bloody so we're definitely going to see what this is going to be about so we're now out here by Fast and Furious, and something to actually confirm Chucky is here, as we said in the last video, is Chucky Killer Treats. This would be really good. I actually kind of enjoyed the Chucky Burger last year, but maybe we'll have something a little different this year. We'll see. And also something new. Check this out. Another portal with a TV. So we're going to see the Chucky sign on here. That's what I'm already thinking. I mean, it's, it's basically confirmed when the booth's right out here. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> But this would be really cool to see Chucky out here. I'm really excited. All right, so we're going to avoid the Blues Brothers. And what's actually going to sting out because we have a booth over here for The Last of Us. Uh, check this out. I know it showed us already, but this is still really cool. They've already, actually might have already added some stuff maybe. But we'll see. Yeah, this is super cool. I cannot wait to be here at nighttime. See everything lit up and everything. It's going to be so awesome. It's Fedra. Really cool, guys. Oh man, I don't know what they're gonna serve here. Maybe they'll have like the same stuff as the other Last of Us booth, and we'll see that as well. But it's gonna be really cool to see what they're actually gonna serve over here. The tarp up there. This is probably like a drink section, maybe. Got some uh, coolers back there. Yeah, probably like a little drink section. It's gonna be awesome. So let's keep on moving and see what's down here. There's more crates, barrels. And it's big old egg stain over here as well. Ooh, that's some windy. But it feels good though, I will say that. Oh, uh, it's super awesome. There's the firefly symbol. Fedra. Super cool and also on the sign as well it says no parking with the firefly symbol right there. Oh, uh, this is gonna be super awesome. Let's see what's up here. Just that sign. 
Other than that, looks really awesome. Let's actually go to the front now or the uh, park up there and let's actually see the Stranger Things, Surfer Boy, and the Yeti booth. All right, now take a look at the last of us food booths out here as well. They're not as highly themed as the other ones, but they actually are still really cool. Most favorite thing I like about these boots, it's really cool. You can see at nighttime, it's kind of hard to see right now in the daytime, it's like the sun and everything, but the cameras actually blink red, like they're actually recording you. It's gonna be super cool to see at nighttime. And we're not over here by the Yeti food booth. Really cool, nothing really changed by this one, but something that has changed over here, check this out. We have the sign for Surfer Boy Pizza. That's gonna be very awesome. I cannot wait to try it. And as well, over here, Surfer Boy Pizza. I can definitely see this booth being very popular. Probably more than the Yeti one, but I think they'll also both be really popular because this is a pretty big area for like four nights as well. People coming, you know, between whatever way they come, but it's gonna be really awesome. And we're now over here by Jimmy Fallon. And we have all the portals over here with the screen as well. We got some team members doing some training over here, which is awesome. They're getting themselves ready. Cannot wait. And now coming on down, this is really awesome. Check this out. The other portals over here as well, and the screens as well. So I think this is gonna be Stranger Things, and this is gonna be Dueling Dragons. That, that's just what I think right now. I could be wrong, but that's just what the speculation map tells us. But either way, I'm really excited for it. And we'll go down the other way as well towards uh, Minion Land, and I think the, also as well the Exorcist area and Yeti has the uh, portal with that screen as well. But we'll see after this next update. And check this out. Just put up is the brand new tribute store here in New York. It has officially returned. But check this out. It's super cool. It's a comic shop. That's basically what it is. Oh, this is super cool. Tribute General. Really cool. It has some like really cool Easter eggs. We're gonna check out over here. Here's the actual comics. And supposedly um, you can buy it and like you have your own face in it. It's really cool. We have monsters. Look at that. Bugs eating alive. Oh, it's super cool, man. Spooky Tales with Earl. Earl Squirrel with Gerg the Llama. Someone know who Gerg the Llama is. The Rhyme of the Corn. The Holiday, uh, holiday Tribute Store. Also over here. We got Mardi Gras. Terror, that, look at that, that's super awesome. Bunch of little stuff in here. Oh, that's also uh, case files. That's super awesome. And also they have a board game and basically it's a map of the park itself. Really cool. And I think something to really tell us about the next house, like where it's gonna be. It's like, I think this is gonna be Munsters, maybe. I just don't know yet. Like it's kind of weird how they're gonna do it but had the sound stages and all that. It's gonna be really cool. I I'm really excited for it. And take a look at this first anniversary edition Halloween Horror Nights mystery game, a survival horror adventure. Make your way through the park, complete all the houses if you can. Beware of the scare zones and don't get left behind. Click all 10 houses to escape and survive the night. A universal game, two to four players, never play alone. Well, that's pretty cool, age 13 and up. This is actually really cool. Caretaker. We got Frank is on down there, looks like. Jack, Chance, Storyteller. It's pretty cool. Also, some other cool stuff. Case files of this, Force Shutter, Universal Monsters. That's really cool. King Kong. This is actually really awesome. And here it is McPherson's Collectibles Cards and Comics. Brand new tear available now. Are you ready to dive in? A collection of four all new horrifying stories open seven days a week. See, really cool. Trimus Comics proudly sold here. Inquire within. And right here is when it has some other little comic stuff. Really cool. Gigantic Frankenstein. It's really cool. Got a little Dracula guy down there, a devil, a mummy. It's really cool. Celebrate Halloween in style. Ooh, this is really cool. Let's keep on going out and see what's down here. There's Frankenstein. Tribute facade, black cat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's have a shirt right here. I wonder if you can actually buy that shirt when it gets in there. We'll see though. And also outside the door, Story Mystery will close. Will it open again soon, we promise. 
So really it's looking at it, it's actually really simple construction, but also when you come to the outside, take a look at this. Take a step out here. It's really awesome, check that out. Really love it. And also a little update to Banff Super Nine Scare Zone. Check this out, little stage. Has some tarps in here. So again, anytime we see tarps or anything, we know it's like me, really bloody and something they want to hide to the actual regular daily guests because you, know, you have children out here, you don't need to see that kind of stuff. You know, it's kind of not really good for their eyes, if you want to say. You also have this microphone with like a flyer on it. It's actually really awesome. And also on the motorcycles, we have a brand new thing on here. Look at that. Blood Slayers. It's like a band. Check that out. And now I'm in over way towards Minion Lane and Minion Cafe area. And check this out. Here is the portal and the screen for the Exorcist. Well, at least that's where we believe it's going to be the Exorcist right here. I think it's going to be here. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, but probably I would say this weekend they'll probably have all the stances out here getting ready because I think next Wednesday is team member preview for Horror Nights. So definitely very soon to have all the stanchions out here getting ready for those big old lines. So we're now overlooking Minion Lane as a whole. Villain Con Minion Blast, a 15 minute wait. Wow, it's pretty amazing. Minion Mayhem, 25 minutes. It's kind of weird that people still go into Minion Mayhem rather than Villain Con. I mean, I guess words got out about how it is. Honestly, I think it's a pretty good addition to the park itself. Man, it just, everybody has one in pants, I'll say that. But um, right behind me, we do have a new portal with a screen right here. This is probably gonna be good for the Yeti house. Really excited, it's probably like a really fun and gory house, campfires, you know, Yeti, attacking people. I'm super excited for it. And before we actually head out in the park, we're gonna actually go to the Five and Dime because I actually heard there's some new HHN merchandise. And we now made it inside the Five and Dime. We have some brand new stuff in here. Now I think we saw this shirt. This is basically the shirt for this shirt. It has some like the arches right there in this little symbol. Let's see the name on the back. This is the actual front of the shirt. Nope, nothing's on the back. We do have some keychains right here. Shot glasses. Long sleeve shirt, Stranger Things, Stranger Things hat. We saw that. Now, this is actually something new right here. Just like the flannel shirt, there. No two shirts are exactly alike. Garments may vary. Oh, that's actually cool. So, the different styles, you can kind of see how they are. It's kind of like different how they are, like design. It's actually, really cool. How many horn eyes? We'll see what's on the back. Huh. It's pretty neat. Do you like that kind of stuff? Me personally, I'm not about these kind of like style shirts, but I guess it's kind of cool. Some people do like them. And here are the scented candles for this year. It's actually really cool. Look at that. Actually smells pretty decent. I will say that. And over here, we actually saw this the other day in the uh, Islands Adventure, all the Tyler Lufus or that uh, Chucky shirt, but this is actually pretty new right here. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Little tumbler cup. Arson series. Actually pretty cool. All right, so this is actually pretty new. Same design on a cup, but it's the actually on a uh, kind of like a long sleeve crop shirt. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Also have some studio screamer stuff. We saw that in all the highly produced store. And I think we might have seen this. This is the collectible pin set. And also they have magnets as well. It's pretty neat. Here's the pins right there. There's a little boo awesome and right here they actually have some stuff from odd fellows check that out little bag right there here's a shirt the poster if you do want to get the poster and that's just regular monster stuff but pretty awesome and also i just heard the gunshots from the born so so we're gonna exit this place where it gets really packed and just before i'm actually leaving i actually saw these cups over here for all this seeing the fog stuff check this out it's kind of like a metallic kind of like cup right here Check that out, it's $29. I actually do like this. It's pretty cool. And now it is time to exit the park. We are a week away, basically. <laughs> but I am so excited. All right guys, that will do it from Universal Studios for us, seeing what is new here for Halloween Horror Nights. We are basically one week away from opening weekend. Super excited for it, I cannot wait to see and bring y'all along with me. Um, unfortunately, you cannot film in the houses or anything, but I can still let you know my experience after the houses. But I can definitely show you the scare zones. I will show you that and all the kind of foods, whatever they're going to have there. It's going to be super awesome. But if you did enjoy this video, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future content and Halloween Horror Nights. I will see you guys next one. Thank you so much for watching.